Hey guys, Josh here with Card Sharp Pro. Starting this week, due to popular demand, we're gonna start doing deck profiles on Friday. And since you guys asked, I decided to do my Mermail deck. I made this Mermail deck for the meta in mind before the new set, with three axes, four axes, and Spellbook being the most popular decks. Uh, it's a good deck, it's very consistent. I decided to max out on all the search cards, except for Undying. Uh, I want to start out with three of this Megalo. Card's a very good card, searching out your two traps. Those two traps are your win conditions, pretty much, especially this fall. Uh, I played three to open in turn one. Abyss lead, you summon this card with Abyss gun and Abyss lane. It's a, your attacker and discards cards, very strong. One follow up with three Abyss twos. This is the most important card in the deck. Very quick searcher, special summon, and it gets the ball rolling. You can make rank sevens with it. Three Abyss lane, uh, it's a beater, it's a floater. Uh, gets in damage and you're not really afraid of anything with it. Uh, following up with that, I'm going to be playing 3 Abyss Spike. The card is very good. Uh, it's level 4, which means I can make rank 4s with it. 3 Monster Reborn, Abyss Gun. The card's very searchable, very good. Most people play 2, I decided to play 3. It's the most powerful card in the deck. Uh, the, the Atlanteans, I play one infantry only because it's not that good of a draw. I only play the one really to make armor kappa. Three marksmen, popping those back row right now has never been more important than it is. Two aqua spirits, those rank fours, really good follow up. Bahamut shark is still one of the most powerful cards in the game. Title, very broken. Uh, you, you send it with the bobble chain. Uh, Diva is very, very, very broken. Fantastic is very good. I decided to play one of each controller in Undyne because you can search it with Abyss Pike whenever you want it. Sends your title, sends your Atlantean, sets up the whole game. That's it for monsters. The deck has a lot of very powerful summons. Uh, you wanted to make the deck as fast as possible, that's what I was trying to do here. I didn't want to make it inconsistent. I didn't want to play cards that weren't as good on turn one. On to the spells, I play 3 Mystical Space Typhoon. Mystical Space Typhoon right now is one of the most important cards in the game. Popping those fire formations, popping those back row to get in on Fire Fist. Salvage is very good in this deck, you get back your D.Va. Dark Hole is also very good in this deck, opens up your OTKs. I play Compulse, I play Torrential, and I play 2 Phoenix Women Blast for defense. I didn't want to over uh, clog the defense, I figured 4 defensive cards would be very good. Uh, I decided to play the most flexible ones in the game. Phoenix Women Blast also discards dead cards and discards Abyss Gun. 3 Abyss Sphere. Abyss Sphere opens up a lot of plays and it fixes all your bad hands. And Abyss Ball is the best card, it's a win condition. Onto the extra deck, we have... One Bahamut Shark, one Abyss Dweller, one Lebobble Chain for sending title, two Draco Sacks, two Gaios, and one Big Eye for rank 7s. We play one Armored Kappa and one Abyss Trite. Those are Bahamut Shark targets. Anganeer is very good. You can make combos with him by summoning Abyss Gun and Abyss Lin. Uh, Black Rose is very good. You can make it with Controller and Diva. Same with Gunnir, these are your two cards, and Cataster is a problem solver, answers everything. Alright, that's it for the deck. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's episodes.